Hi guys, and welcome back. So a few years ago, okay, like six years ago, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I did a freezer meal blog. It was called 15 freezer meals to make while you're pregnant or to make while you're expecting. And to date, it has been my most popular blog ever. So I decided to create my first freezer meal video and blog that I've done in six years. And since I'm now doing keto and low carb, this is going to be the topic of my freezer meals. So today I'm going to share with you 11 freezer meals that you can make while you're eating keto or low carb or gluten-free or grain-free, whatever you choose. These will fit right on in to what you're looking for. So let's get cooking. So I went shopping at Walmart this morning. I chose Walmart because it's just a cheap, easy place to shop. And here's all my goods to make 11 keto low carb freezer meals. I spent about $137, so it was actually a very good deal. Now for the actual recipes written down, be sure to visit my blog. I'm going to put the link to it in the description box so you will be able to cook these yourself. So no worries, this is just gonna be a condensed video because I don't have time to just film every single step, but I will be sure to write it all out, ingredients and directions in my blog. Again, it's in my description box, so don't forget to read the blog as well. So before I went shopping, I made, obviously I printed out all my recipes and I made a recipe list as well as my grocery shopping list, which I'll share in my blog. I did forget a couple things, so unfortunately I'm gonna have to run back. I'm gonna make a few meals and then run back to the store. But yeah, I highly suggest writing down everything so you don't forget. For our first recipe, we're gonna make crock pot sausage stuffed mini sweet peppers. And all you're going to need are one and a half pounds of mini sweet peppers. You're gonna need one pound of spicy or mild Italian sausage, uh, mozzarella, eight ounces, and a 24 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce. We are one meal down already. We are finished with our crock pot sausage stuffed mini bell peppers. So I've already went ahead and put them in the freezer and now it's on to recipe number two. So I got all my ingredients together and we are going to make lemon garlic butter chicken thighs. Now the first recipe took about 10 or 15 minutes to make. Let's see how long this will be.
We just made our lemon garlic butter chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the freezer and we're gonna move on to meal number three. But this is just an example of how easy these meals are to make. This literally took me 10 minutes and you throw it in the crock pot for a few hours whenever you're ready to make it. And it's so good. All right, so my next um, recipe is the keto chicken tortilla soup. What makes this really interesting is that we're gonna put all of this in a gallon Ziploc bag. And instead of pre-cooking the chicken, we're just gonna throw it on in there because um, whenever you throw this into a crock pot, when you're ready to cook it, it's going to cook and then you're gonna remove it and you're gonna shred it while you're cooking. But to prep it, you don't have to do anything to the chicken. So let's get started. Guys, on to our fourth recipe. This is going to be a keto pizza casserole. Now, just like with most of the casseroles in this freezer meal series, uh, it's gonna have to be cooked. So I'm gonna chop the veggies over here, which you'll see, and I'm going to fry the sausage over there, as you'll see. So yeah, and then you freeze it cooked, unlike the other ones where you actually just dump and bake or dump and put in the crock pot. So, all right, let's go. Again, the directions and the full list of ingredients are on my blog in the description box. All right, so I just took our pizza casserole out of the oven, and because I did not get casserole dishes, I got roasting pants instead because yay, go me. I need to cover this. Well, first I wanna put a layer of wax paper, and then aluminum foil, and then this over it. There you have it. I will be doing all of my casseroles this way just to prevent freezer burn as good as I can. And I just put kind of like short directions on top and of course the date and what it is. It's going to be my cheesy turkey meatball casserole. Yes, another casserole is on the way. So let's make it. All right, to finish up the meatball casserole, you're just gonna put over the marinara sauce. Then you're gonna top with remaining mozzarella. 
however much you want, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to top with basil and you're gonna put it actually right back into the oven. You're gonna let it cook until the cheese has bubbled, even until it's a little brown. All right, back to the oven this goes. All right, my meatball casserole is done and I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with wax paper and aluminum foil and the top like I did with the other casseroles. All right, my workspace is a complete mess. So this is the crack chicken casserole. And to make this, we're gonna have to cook the chicken first, which I'm gonna do in the oven or I have everything pre-measured out, well, except my sour cream over there. But yeah, it looks like a madhouse in my kitchen because I am in the midst of cooking 11 meals today. So I'm about a couple hours in. So let's go ahead and make the crack chicken casserole. All right, so my chicken's cooked for the most part and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it into cubes for our crack chicken casserole. So let's get started. And our crack chicken casserole is done, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up and put it in the freezer. All right, so it's time for one of our last recipes. I think we have three more after this, but we are going to make our jalapeno popper casserole. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shred this chicken that I just baked, and I'm going to cut the jalapeno into strips. And then I'm gonna make the cream cheese sauce that goes on top, so let's go. are finished with the hollow pino popper casserole. All right, so it's been about four hours and I've made seven of my 11 meals. Whew. So the next meal we're gonna make is going to be my keto chili. And uh, it's gonna go in a Ziploc bag, really easy to make. We're gonna go ahead and brown the ground beef first and then basically put everything in a gallon Ziploc bag and then freeze it. So, and then when you're ready to eat it, it's gonna go right in the crock pot after you defrost in the fridge. So, let's get to cooking.
is done. Who's ready for the next recipe? There's only three left. All right, guys, for the next meal I'm going to make is a chili dog casserole. So I hope you're excited for it. I know I am. I'm a big fan of chili dogs, but I'm not a fan of the buns. So this keto casserole, you're gonna love if you're like me. chili dog casserole it looks amazing and I can't wait to eat it all right so I just put my chili dog casserole in the oven to melt the cheese and now we are going to get started on the Philly cheesesteak casserole this is one of two recipes that are left we're almost done you guys Oh my gosh, I wanna eat it right now. On to our last recipe. Holy cow, we are on our last freaking recipe. And for this, we're going to make keto breakfast sandwiches using eggs as bread and sausage and cheese in the middle. Now, I like these ready to go patties. You can literally just bake them in the oven or you can make your own. I'm going to do the easy route. So sausage patties are done. Now I'm just waiting on the egg so I can put them together. All right, looks like our egg muffins are done. So we're gonna go ahead and take these out and let them cool and then we're gonna put everything together. So my egg muffins are officially done and they look like they're ready to be put with the sausage. Sorry, I was cold and I went and put on a shirt. Um, so here is some cheddar cheese. This is gonna be very simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap each sandwich in some wax paper and then you're gonna wrap it really tightly in some aluminum foil. And then it's all gonna go into a gallon Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna scoop. And because we used non-stick foil, it came right on out. So here's my two pieces of bread. And so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the sausage on. Now, you can do this however you want, but 
This is obviously a little too big, but if you like cheese that much, then go right on ahead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fold this into quarters. So just put as much cheese as you want. Um, I'm personally gonna do one half of a slice, which is these little two pieces, which I fold them in quarters, but yes, two quarters per sandwich. And there you go, there you have it. Your little cute egg sandwich. So, fold those up. Just a little bit. And then you're just going to wrap. Okay. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then put it in the foil. And then whenever you go to cook these, you're going to let one or however many defrost in the fridge. And you're gonna microwave it for about a minute. And there you have it. Guys, after everything is wrapped up, you put them in the Ziploc, I can't talk, oh, it's been a long day. Put them in the Ziploc bag and this is what they're gonna look like. And here's all of my meals. Let's take a quick look. Wow. We did it, guys. That was a super long day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, be sure to click the link to the blog post in my description box so you can find each recipe, each ingredient, each direction, anything that you need, plus photos of everything that we made today. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment below. And let me know if you've tried some of these or if you like to see more freezer meal videos. Even though they're time consuming, they're fun to make. So, bye guys.